lawyers representing Azimani address the National Telecommunications Commission or NTC and urged them to specifically point out the network's alleged violations as its basis for its 30-day suspension on radio and free TV. Azimani also submitted a motion for reconsideration regarding the suspension imposed by the Movie and Television Review and Classification Board on two of its programs. Jason Rubrico reports. SMNI representatives visited the offices of the National Telecommunications Commission or NCC and Movie and Television Review and Classification Board or MTRCB on Thursday morning to file motions against separate suspensions imposed by the two agencies. SMNI's legal team wants NTC to specify the alleged violations of the network to justify the 30-day suspension on radio and free TV. The network particularly submitted a motion for a bill of particulars to the NTC seeking clarification on the grounds for suspension. We are asking the, the, the NTC to explain what are the violations that we answer. When asked if the NTC hinted at the alleged violations to SMNI, Attorney Rolex Suplico jokingly suggested consulting a fortune teller for answers. So, what are the mistakes? Itanong ba namin kay Madam Auring ito o kay bago na ngayon, Hans Kua? Kasi hindi namin alam eh. The lawyers clarified that the new petition filed is distinct from the earlier petition for inhibition against three NTC officials. SMNI filed a motion for reconsideration regarding the suspension of its two programs, Laban Kasama Ang Bayan and former President Rodrigo Duterte's Gikan Samasa para Samasa. Ang argument natin, number one, freedom of press, freedom of expression and and on public issues we have the right to be informed of the nature and cause of the accusation kung hindi sila magpapresenta ng clear and present danger rule as a basis for the ruling uh, the presumption will prevail and that presumption is the ruling of the MTRCB are presumed unconstitutional ng epekto ng motion for reconsideration hindi yan final and executory yung suspension ng MTRCB. To recall, the MTRCB suspended the two programs starting December 18 of 2023. SMNI previously filed a motion for reconsideration but on January 4, MTRCB extended the suspension for 14 more days. If the MTRCB rejects SMNI's motion, the lawyers plan to appeal to the office of the president. The MTRCB assured a thorough review of SMNI's motion in accordance with its mandate. Mandate. On the part of the NTC, they said they will also study the motions filed by the SMNI, including the inhibition of the three NTC officials in the case. Meanwhile, former President Duterte earlier expressed his desire to speak with President Bongbong Marcos regarding SMNI's current situation. He mentioned that his program Gikan Samasa para Samasa also suffered due to the network suspension. Kasi nadali yung aking Gikan Samasa. Isali ko na lang yung akin because yun ang importante sa akin yung I do not want to confront the president but rather I'd like to talk to him indirectly kung bakit ganun. Tapos para sa akin concerned I have not crucified him, not even criticized him severely. Maybe commented on the directions the that government is uh, proceeding. To this, Presidential Communication Office Secretary Chailoy Garafil said the Malacanang is open to a dialogue with President Duterte. The legal team of SMNI also has something to say to those behind the suspension of the programs and the network's operation. Simple lang sinasabi namin dito, wag kayo balat sibuyas. Wag kayo Manging balat sibuyas. Yun na ang sinasabi natin dito. Forgotten by beloved Philippines, I am Jason Rubrico, SM9 News.